Hey everybody, I pray that your day is going well, that um, you are enjoying this cozy day here um, today. I just wanted to jump on really fast and encourage somebody who um, may be going through, it's like the end of a transition, like God has given you the vision made it very plain to you what it is that he wants for you to do but you feel like uh, you're not qualified or you feel that um, you may be rejected like people won't receive you or your business if it's business uh, your calling um, I just want to encourage you um, and remind you that where we are weak God is strong and I know that I have been struggling with this for a very long time but since I've been in this I've transitioned from um, bondage to wilderness to where I am now where God is opening up doors for me to be able to do what he has called me to do I have really struggled with my weaknesses and I was watching a video this morning and the lady was saying how selfish it is of us to uh, stop doing the work of God because we're in a spiritual warfare where we're, we're where we're battling and it was very encouraging for me because I know last night um, it was real heavy in my spirit. I feel like uh, I, I was just feeling like I, I stopped. I stopped doing everything that um, God has been putting, it, putting on my heart for me to do. And I found, I even confessed, and I'm openly confessing it now, but I even confessed that... Um, that you know the unbelief that i had because i would make comments like um people people not gonna get it people not gonna understand um if you know the things that god are, is say is telling me to say um people don't want it and things like that but god keeps reminding me that you know, everybody's not going to receive it. Everybody is not going to understand. Everybody is not going to receive um, the truth and what it is that I'm doing through your life. But it's not for you to stop doing what I, you know, stop hindering me from doing what I'm doing in your life. It's not for you to uh, stop the progress of what I'm trying to do through your life because what other people may think or how they perceive you or they may reject you. And um, I uh, instantly start studying, you know, last night. And I had to go to scripture and remind myself, you know, even, even um, Jesus was rejected. They rejected Jesus. They didn't believe that he was the son of God. They didn't believe that he was the Messiah. You know, they didn't believe that um, the things that he was saying were true, you know. And he plainly told them, you know, I I say what my father says. I do what I see my father do. And, you know, um, so we just have to keep moving in, in what God has called us to do. And whether we feel worthy, whether we feel uh, people will receive it or whatever, we just have to keep going in the direction that God is calling us to go in and do the things that God is calling us to do. Um, it's, it, his grace is, is sufficient. His grace is sufficient for us. And where, we, where we're weak, he makes us strong. Um, I'm writing a book and I sit down at the computer as I'm writing, you know, and before I even begin to write, I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, give me the words to say, because I don't know how to communicate this. And it, it just amazes me how he just opens up and gives me, you know, the, the things to say. So 
just be encouraged. Whatever it is God's telling you to do, whatever platform he's giving you. Um, I know here lately he's been um, calling me to hit the streets, hit the streets and go out in the streets. I had the opportunity to be able to encourage somebody and diffuse the situation the other day at the store. And it just blew me away. And usually when the Holy Spirit tell me to go up to somebody and, and you know, encourage them or anything like that, I hesitate. I, I can't lie. I'm transparent. Like, I don't, I don't have no other way to be right now in life. But I, I hesitate because I'm like, well, they don't want to hear what I got to say or anything like that. But it, it just amazed me how she calmed down, got in her car, and left. And I'm like, oh, my God. But, you know, once we move us out of the way and allow God to do what it is that he wants to do in us and through us, then no man can stop us. No man can stop us. And it's not even us. It's not even us. We have to die to our flesh in order to be able to allow the spirit to live through us. So just be encouraged, you know, wherever you weak, wherever you feel disqualified, wherever you've been rejected, wherever you've been overlooked, God is our vindicator. And and he will um he will raise you up. He will raise you up and and surrender to him your way of how you think you should be raised or how you think that it should go you know um I was telling somebody a few months ago you know they would ask me every day what's your plans today I don't have no plans I don't have no plans I I plan to grow right now that's what I'm doing I plan to grow but I told God I said God my my schedule's empty like you asked me to leave my job, I've left. And at that time, I know now what was taking place. He was giving me the vision because he started to show me different steps that he wanted me to take, but he didn't give me everything. Like, I literally have to start walking in it in order to get to the next destination, get to the next thing. And I remember him showing me that it's going to be one thing after the other after the other. And the enemy tried to overwhelm me with all the things that God has called me to do. But God keeps taking me back to thriving exceptionally. Thriving exceptionally. Like God has called, God has created us to thrive and thrive exceptionally. And the only way that we are able to thrive and thrive exceptionally is to surrender to God. And allow him to fill us with his Holy Spirit. Allow the blood of Jesus to cleanse us and wash us and purify us and nurture us. And and he will set us in a place to thrive. It's like planting a tree. You plant a tree by the water. And the water causes it to thrive and be alive. So um, I'm really excited about this. I know about a month ago... Uh, I was outside barbecuing <laughs> and I just got very emotionally happy because God revealed to me that he changed my name. He said, people going to know you by thriving exceptionally. And I'm like, really? And he started to show me how at the time, the, the place that I was in, in that moment where he uh, revealed to me thriving exceptionally, I was not thriving at all. In, in, in the natural, I was not thriving at all. But in the spirit, I was thriving because he was growing me and showing me and stripping me and cleansing me and purifying me and purging me and, and, and teaching me. And, and, you know, he was tearing down and building up and he was, Oh, God, he was doing some amazing work within me. And I know years ago he uh, he showed me how um, in order in order for it to appear on the outside, you got to let me do the work on the inside first. And it will seep through, and you will be able to see it on the outside. So I'm just excited about life right now. Um God is good, man, y'all. Mm, God is so good. He's faithful. And, you know, 
all we have to do is have a repentant heart. All we have to do is just change the course, change the course. And, you know, um, it comes a point in time where enough is enough. Enough is enough. You get tired of the same old mediocre, mundane lifestyle, according to this world. And you say, you know what, God, I'm just going to take you up on your word. I'm going to take you up on your word. And I'm going to do, do what you say to do, you know. And you start doing it, and you will see how you thrive. You will see how he truly did create us to thrive, to thrive. So um, God gave us everything that we needed before he even created us. It was no mistake that God created us on the sixth day. Not not one mistake that we were created on the sixth day. And and that's encouraging in itself to know that what whatever he's calling you to, whatever he calls us to, he's already it's all we already have provision for everything that we need. You know, we wait for um the big lump sum of money, the big circle of people to come to encourage us and support us and walk alongside of us. But God has already given us everything that we need to complete the assignment. All we have to do is just surrender. All we have to do is surrender. And um, he's really highlighted to me, uh, and he's still teaching me about the uh, when the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness for 40 days. That's exactly what was taking place. And we all have to go through that place. We all have to be empowered. We all have to be um, set on fire, set on fire so that we may become fire. You know, we you, you can't walk. You can't walk in the ways of God without having the fire in you to do what it is that he created us to do. He said, um, these works that you see me doing, you shall do also. And greater works than these shall you do because I go unto my Father. So we are to be doing greater works than what Jesus even done. That, that's what we were created for. But how do we get to that point? We have to surrender. We have to surrender. We have to lay down our natural life. We have to lay down our flesh. We have to die to our flesh, die to the desires of the flesh, and 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 truly pick up our cross and walk after him and follow him and do um, what it is that he commands for us to do. So um, I just want to I just want to encourage somebody, anybody you know who feel like. You're weak. You're not qualified for the things. You know, that's the thing. You know, God's words say that he take the foolish things of the world to conform, confound the wise. Mm. Mm. That's deep. That's deep. So you may not feel like you qualify. You may not feel like you have the skill to do what it, ever, to do, to do what it is that um, God has called you to do. But be encouraged by this. God showed me, he said, how do you think that Adam was able to cultivate the garden? And I had just created him. God gave him the wisdom to be able to do it. God will give you the wisdom to be able to do whatever it is that he called you to do. And that's my prayer is that God give me the wisdom to be able to encourage people. That God give me the wisdom to be able to handle his people, like we all his people. We 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 fragile, we frail, we sensitive, you know, and 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 we need wisdom to be able to walk in the ways of God and to handle his people and the things that he bless us with. So just be encouraged. Um let 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 God set the course for your life. Allow him to shine the light on your path. Allow him to order your steps and to do the things that he has called you to do. Where you weak, he's strong. Trust him. Trust him. And that's for me too. Trust him. Where I'm weak, he's strong. So if 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 God calls you and remind him, I remind him all the time, okay, Lord, this light building came. And this is this is where you had me at. So, God, I'm going to need you to take care of this for me. And, y'all, all my bills is at zero. I don't owe nobody nothing. 
And I ain't had no job since May 17, 2018. I ain't asked nobody to pay my bills. If they get cut off, they get cut off. Lord, what do you want me to do? Like, this is the place that you have caught me to. You know, it's just like, and, and he reminds me so often about Elijah. Um, and when he sent him to the widow, and the widow sustained him. So, God is faithful. He's he's so faithful. And, you know, you may, you may be going through, but just know that on the other side of the hurt and the pain and the worry and the stress is peace. It's peace. And you speak to your situation, peace be still. Peace be still. I can't do nothing outside of Christ. I can do all th That's what I kept telling myself last night. I can do all things through Christ. You know, people have affirmations that they get up every morning and, you know, I am pretty. Uh, I can do this. I, I quote scriptures. I qu that's my affirmation. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength to be able to do it. And my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. You know, I take no thought of the flesh. I take no thought. Uh, they, uh, I'm renting a house, and they put it back on the market because their financial situation changed. And uh, before I even moved in this house, I, um, I prayed and asked God to bless me with this house. Somebody had it under contract, and they, 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 they broke the contract. They, they didn't want the house no more, so I was able to move in. And then uh, I started having health problems, so I wasn't working, and it was hard for me to keep up with rent and things like that. And now they financial they financial situation has changed, so they put the house back on the market. And I just decreed and declared, ain't nobody going to buy this house. God going to bless me with the money to be able to pay this house in full. He said, just stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. So I'm putting that out there. I'm putting that out in the atmosphere that I have ridiculous faith in God ridiculous faith and even if even if it's not his will for me to have this house I have an even bigger um vision and that's for farmland farmland with a house on it I found one for two million dollars and everybody was looking at me like hey God is faithful God is able and I'm claiming it I'm claiming it in the name of Jesus he will bless me with acreages and acreages and acreages of land so that I may be able to, to plant and garden and farm, have animals, cattle, chickens, you know, be able to help his people, serve his people, not only with the physical things that we need, but also with the spiritual things. That's, 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 that's me. That's who he's called me to be. So, just be blessed. Believe God. Trust God. You know, even even when it don't even look like what God is promising you, it looks totally different. It looks like everything going to be lost. Everything is going to crumble. Trust God. And even if it's to the last second, he's going to come through for you. He's going to come through. So be blessed. Be encouraged. Enjoy the rest of this day. Bundle up. I'm about to turn my heat on, y'all, because it's 69 degrees in my house, and I'm freezing. <laughs> so just be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm losing my voice just from praising God and screaming. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for life. Like, God is so good. He gives us another chance, and he's long-suffering. He's long-suffering. We... He showed me something, but he showed me how he been trying to highlight this to me for a minute. And I just started praising him this morning for being long-suffering with me. He's good. He's faithful. So just, just trust him, believe in him, be blessed, Have a, enjoy the rest of your day. Do something to bless somebody on purpose. Encourage somebody because you never know. You never know what nobody's going through. You know, I remember when, I, I'm getting out of here, but I remember when, uh, I looked at my sister, and it, it was death all over her. And I just sat down with her, and I was like, are you thinking about suicide? And she just started crying and said, yes. Yes, I have been thinking about killing myself. That ain't nobody but the spirit. Nobody but the spirit. And, you know, it's so encouraging to be able to encourage people, but we also have to be able to see spiritual things 
to be able to see what people are going through to be able to address their need because you know helping people giving them twenty dollars here fifty dollars there you know god has taught me that you teach a man how to fish and he'll, he won't come back to you asking you for no more fish but if you give a man fish he gonna keep coming back asking for fish so sometimes you got to give people you got to teach people how to fish in order to be able to feed themselves, in order to be able to encourage themselves, in order to be able to lift themselves up, in order to be able to cast down them them voices that's in their head telling them to commit suicide, telling them to jump off the bridge, telling them to kill that person over there. You know, we, we have to be able to be in tune with the spirit. And this is a gift that God has given me, and it has been operating in my life, my whole life, but now it's like I'm embracing it, and it's 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 amazing. So be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out of here. Talk to you guys later. I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. Walk in his ways. Walk in his plan. Walk out his purposes in your life. Do what it is that he called you to do because you are somebody else's blessing. Be, be blessed.